fans. Pretty terrible season. Had a lot of things to prove on. Hoping this season we'll be able to pull things together. But I want to start with looking at my draft picks. Kind of go through why I picked them. What I was thinking about. Really went off my game plan a little bit. The first pick in the draft, I picked the Gerald Hall's strong safety. It was really between him and a left outside linebacker. I probably should have went to left outside linebacker because the strong safeties in this draft were insanely deep. And you can see I actually took another one later. But Hall, is he's got some amazing speed. He can jump. he could got some hit power. Hopefully he can be a good secondary guy for us. We really need to fill a spot in that strong safety. So he should be an instant starter. And then we went defensive tackle. The defensive tackles in this draft weren't as deep as we had hoped. So you can see we, we got a solid guy, but it's going to take some work to get him in the starting lineup. And then we also, in the third round, went, actually this isn't the way we drafted him. In the third, I believe, we drafted the running back. And we really liked his speed and strength, but once we got his stats, weren't as good as we thought. So he's pretty much going to be a backup player forever. And Trevincho and defensive tackle. We thought he'd be stronger than he was. He's okay. He's he's not going to be like a superstar player. So it's kind of an okay draft. And then we went with Desi Mora, a sec, sa another strong safety. He has great speed. His hit power is really strong. Um, acceleration. We thought about moving him to cornerback, but that speed is kind of hurting us. So maybe we look at Gerald Hall moving to cornerback and leaving Desi in the secondary and then we went with uh, Taylor Martin wide receiver actually I think I may have drafted him in the third or fourth round this is must not be in the order they're drafted it must be based on how they're picked but I think Martin's going to actually be my most impactful player in McConnell at the tight end he's probably going to get some playing time um, let's see if there's any more we'll go look at these stats of these guys in, in the roster Here we go. This is show what round. All right, so we got Hall in the first round. We went defensive tackle second round. We went Martin, wide receiver. We liked his height. Uh, I wish he had more speed, but I think he's going to be able to catch the ball, get some good catch, catching traffic. And went back to strong safety. That was an unusual pick because we already had strong safety, but we felt weak there. And as you see later when we look at the season, Hall got injured in week two, so it's going to be kind of good that I have this guy. And then Trevijo, and then we brought the halfback in the sixth round. He was okay, but he, he's not really going to be a superstar. We, we'll probably get him a few carries. We like his speed. He's, his strength is not near what we thought it was. So we, we scouted him. We thought he was super strong. I think he was actually the strongest one back in the draft. Uh, just not that strong. Let's go look at our seventh round pick real quick. So in the seventh round, we went to tight end. This guy's a run blocker. He's pretty good. So he's got decent speed. He's got 80 strength. His run blocking and impact blocking is really the main reason we got him. Let's go look at these guys in the depth chart, see how they're going to fill in. We actually picked up a few undrafted free agents as well. Let's take a look. We'll talk about them. All right, so in, let's go just to the roster season. I think it'd be easier depth chart. Kind of see where they fit in. So, David McKinney, we picked him up in free agency, undrafted free agency. Really, the throwing power like this got it got his attention. That 96 throwing power is pretty nice. We actually might play him some because what well, we haven't talked about yet. But in week two, Dak Prescott got out for the season, but Cooper Rush came in and did a good job. But uh, this throw power is is tempting to try to build up. His short accuracy is not that great. Medium accuracy is not that great. But really not that far off. I put him in. I think I can bump it all up and turn this guy into a decent player. And then a running back. Let's take a look at this rookie running back that we got in the sixth round. You can see he's sitting third on the depth chart. His strength is not where we thought it would be. Like I said, I think he might get some stuff. He'd be like a permanent backup. Yeah, we could be get his awareness up, get everything, get his carry up. So we could trust him in a ball game. And when Morris retires, we can maybe move Bolston into that second place. And then wide receiver Martin's really the guy we think is going to come in here. So Beasley got moved down. He's I moved him up into third after the first week because 
he seemed to make more plays. Having that height of 6'6", six, six, with the catch of 86, catching traffic 84, special tackler catch only 80. That running's terrible. we got to get that up. And then release is not that good, so I don't know if he'll ever make it on the outside. But jumping's really good. This guy's going to be good in the red zone if we build jump passes. And let's get tight ends. Swami's our favorite. You can see he's got run block. Uh, all of our guys got run block. That's really what we look at. So we've actually got McConnell in second. I think his catching is a little better. No, it's about the same. Route running's a little better. Catching traffic's a little better. Not not great. It's, these guys are dramatic drop-offs from losing Witten. Let's go look at... I think we... Drafted this offensive lineman here. He really was not what we thought he was. His strength's okay. Bum block, pass. Impact block's good, so it's actually something we can build on. We'll probably try to get him up in the starting position. I think we'll probably make that move this week. Um, really wish he was stronger. That's really the only thing we wish we could build on. Can't really teach strength. It's so expensive. We didn't draft any left ends. Defensive tackles. <laughs> We cut some guys, so our two rookies are pretty much our backups. We picked up a free agent, Roy Miller, here. Should help solidify our run stop. We're going to try to get these guys in and get the X. Big, would like to see Bibble get the X points that we just drafted and we so young. So these guys are fairly old. We got two young guys here, two rookies. I do like his strength. I wish it was in the 90s, but it's still not too bad. Black Shed's good. He's actually going to probably get a lot of playing time. Potentially put him in the starting rotation this week against the Rams. With the outside linebacker. Really just nothing great here. We were, should have got a linebacker and we didn't. We picked up, uh, I think we picked Frankie out of free agency, but not a rookie. Cornerback, nothing really new here. We we had a pretty good core, guys. We may end up moving some one of our song safeties too cornerback but they're just not that great yet all right johnson let's look at our two rookies i only look at one rookie because they all got injured you can see his speed his acceleration his strength we need to get his zone coverage up his catching is amazing at 71 tackles 87 power hit powers 81 87 but it, this guy is a, a hit hit from force too so hopefully we can bring these guys up maybe use some of that big um Nickel where you put the safety into the slot in my formations. And that guy could be a pretty good run stopper and put some power hits on the guys. So overall, I felt like it was one of my best drafts. I, I just didn't get the key defensive tackle that I wanted. That's really what I was looking for. And there just wasn't that defensive tackle out there having a top 10 pick. So we're going to have to figure out that way. I'd love to make a trade. If I could get like... A superstar. I would probably trade my first, second this year, and my first next year. But probably have to be like a 90 overall, 95 overall guy. But I doubt anybody's willing to trade that. Let's go look at the schedule so far. It's been a rough season. So we started out with the loss to the Panthers, three to 19. We call this the lag bowl. The game was so laggy, I couldn't even push the buttons. It was it was rough. And then we played the Redskins in a great battle. I just couldn't get off the ball, make decisions in key situations. I couldn't make stops. And we had a chance. The game was 14-16 Redskins once. Kicked the ball to them, and, and they answered big time in the fourth with a four-minute drive to score. And this was just an a ugly game. So we could not stop the run. We need to fix that. We feel like we got a good run defense. But if you look at passing... Rush came in and actually did a pretty good job. He had the highest rating in, of all the quarterbacks. Uh, I think I was just making smarter decisions because I knew I had to be careful. I actually threw it 15 times, I think, which is scary. Uh, nine completions, eight completion by Petra. And we got beat by a rookie quarterback who only could beat the ball four times. It's not acceptable. we got to stop the run. They only had one guy, and we couldn't stop him in key situations. We, we did pretty well except for when it mattered. And then they just kind of doused us with the run game. So we got to beef that up on the run stop. And we may not pass again the rest of the season. <laughs> Des Bryant, I've really found good passing routes for him. So I'm starting to really look and understand the route. So even though my season's 0-2, I feel like my passing game is like light years above where it was. I could have never got 100 yards passing with the guy before. 
But uh, I'm really like focusing on the route, looking at the defense, see what's open. Uh, been doing some of that training that Gene was showing us. So um, it's really helped my passing game a lot. We're going to have to just improve on that and make sure we make smart decisions with the ball because we got a quarterback that's not that great. He's we, we probably need to factor in the other rookie for some deep ball threats. So that way everyone's not pushing up on us. So, But we'll see how it goes. It'll be interesting. So hopefully the season comes around. Let's take a look and see what it preview the rest of the season. we got the Rams, which is going to be a great game. He's 1-1. One one. It's a tough game. It's going to be a tough way if, if I start 0-3. At least we got a bye week to recoup. Then we go up against uh, the Saints, the Texans, the Eagles, the Lions. Should be a fun season. It's nowhere near over. Without Dak, it's going to make it tough, but we got a good offensive line. we got a running game. I feel like a defense is on point. Just going to make smart decisions with the quarterback. I, I really think I can do it, so we'll see. Goal this year without Dak, I'm thinking nine and seven would be acceptable. We'll see if we get that or not. That may be a stretch go. That's going from six and ten. Not where we wanted to be. We were hoping it was going to be like a 12 and 4 season or 10 and 6. Somewhere in there is what we'd like to see. It's going to get back to the basics. So, catch you next time. That's episode 5 Coaching the Cowboys.